person makes almost $5,000 a month doing what I'm about to share with you. What if I told you with the power of AI, you can become a digital artist and monetize your work without ever picking up a paintbrush or a pencil? I'll show you how to replicate this using some of the simplest AI side hustles out there. I imagine that you've heard about the online selling platform called Etsy, where you can buy or sell just about anything creative on this online market. But what you probably didn't know is the power that this tool brings if you just know what to look for. So let's dive in. This first AI gig is one of my favorites because of how unique and easy it is. Take this shop for example, that's earned over $400,000. And what are they selling? Stickers. Tons of them. But I know what you may be thinking. I can't design these kinds of stickers, much less print them out when someone buys them. You're in luck because you don't need to do either with the help of the genius of Printify is that it is completely free to you as the seller. All you have to do is rake in the orders and they take care of the rest. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. First, we need the design for a sticker. For this, we're gonna be using the free tool that is. So now let's head to Leonardo AI and create an account. Once we're in, you'll notice that we have 150 tokens, which resets every day. For my prompt, I'm gonna type in this. And then click generate. And with that prompt, I got these results. Now you can see I had to do it twice before I got something that I wanted to use, which in this case was this little guy. So I'm gonna be using this for my sticker. Now what you can do is you can go down here where it says remove background. Now mine's grayed out because I've already done this. And then you can go down here and click on the no background image. So you can see that it's already removed the background for us. For those who are not using Leonardo AI, head over to an online photo editor. I'm using Pixlr for this. To remove the background, I'm gonna click on this wand select tool and then just click on the background. Once you have the background selected, click delete. So once we have our image with no background, come down here and click download. Once we have our design, let's head over to Printify and let's get started for free. Now, once you create a shop, which shouldn't be too difficult, let's head over to the catalog and come down here where it says magnets and stickers. Here you can see is the option of Kiss Cut stickers for a base price of $1.39. Now obviously when you sell this on Etsy, you're gonna be marking this price up so that you can have some of that profit as well. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using die cut stickers because they are much higher quality. So let's head down here and click start designing. Now to upload our design, click on my device and then select the file that you just downloaded. And once you've got it right where you want it, click save product. Once you have your product ready to publish, all you have to do is connect your Printify account with your Etsy store. Just make sure that it's Etsy that you're connecting to and just click connect to Etsy. Once you're connected, make sure that your product visibility and sync product details are what you want and then click publish. And you can see our listing now with all of the different images. And now you're officially in the sticker business. You no longer have to touch anything or make any adjustments. You can just sit back and watch the sales go up. Moving on to our second AI side hustle. This market is also wildly successful. Take this shop, for example, which are making notebooks. Just going off the first listing, you can see that this store is selling over 120 of this kind of notebook each month at a price of $55. That's over $6,600 a month from this one listing alone. You can see that that's led to great success. Now let's see how we can use AI to turn this into a simple side hustle. Once again, we're gonna head back to Leonardo.ai. And this time we're gonna set our dimensions to 768 by 1024. Now simply type in a prompt here that you think would look good on the cover of a notebook. And you can see we've got these designs. Again, I'm gonna use this remove background tool, but you can always go into a free online photo editor and do the same thing. So now that we've got our notebook design, let's go back to Printify, go to catalog, find journals and notebooks under home and living and then choose whatever notebook that you wanna sell. I'm gonna be choosing this first one here as it looks very high quality and something that would sell well on Etsy. So I've got my design in. Once you have a design and it's in the configuration that you like, click Save Product. Then once again, edit its visibility settings for Etsy and then click Publish. Only do this after you make sure that you've connected your Etsy store to your Printify shop. And now we're up and running. Your Etsy account is now a two product, completely passive empire. Now for the last and easiest AI side hustle. Believe it or not, there is a huge market out there for buying and selling clip art. Take this shop, for example, with a reported revenue of over 3 million just by selling entirely digital products like clip art. But we can't just make any clip art. We need to find a niche that has high demand but low competition. So let's head onto this keyword ranking site. Make sure that Etsy is selected and start poking around. I'm gonna start by searching flower clip art. Now this doesn't look good. You can see that there's crazy competition. So let's try narrowing down our niche. I'm gonna go back up here and search for sunflower clip art. Narrowing it down totally helped. This competition is a lot less competitive with still a decent number of clicks. I'm gonna head back to Leonardo AI. This time my prompt is gonna be pretty simple. 
I'm gonna try watercolor sunflower clip art and hit generate. Now each time you do this, hopefully one image will be good for your clip art collection. It's best to sell clip art in packs, it's pretty common across Etsy. I'm going to collect some of the best images that I see here. Now for each design, you're going to want to head back into your photo editor of choice, remove the background, make sure each image is high quality, and then save each image to its own file. So I now have my designs with the backgrounds completely removed. I only have four, and you should really have a lot more than this. I only have this many for demonstration purposes. Now let's get them organized. So I'm going to create a new folder. And then I'm gonna move my clip art into this folder. There are still a couple more steps we need to do before it is ready to sell. What a lot of people don't realize is that they should include the licensing agreement. What this tells the buyer is how they can use the product that you're selling. This is the text that I commonly use. Once I've got it all finalized, you can go up to here to file, download, and then PDF document. And then just make sure that that PDF gets into the same folder as your sunflowers. The last thing we can do before it is ready to be sold is turn it into a zip file. To do this, right click on the folder, click send to, click compressed zipped folder. Now here, we're asked for digital files. Let's add our compressed zip folder. Now let's click publish. And just like that, we've upped our Etsy empire to three products in no time at all with hardly any effort. This business method is extremely scalable and you can replicate it with just about any product. I love Printify because they have so many customizable and sellable items that you can choose from without any risk involved. I will have them linked in the description below. Just remember, the biggest determiner of success in this world is persistence. Hopefully these ideas can help and if they did, it would be awesome if you could show your support. Comment on what gig you will choose and how it goes.